This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You are welcome, child of God. You are welcome, believer in Christ. This is another powerful time in the presence of God. The Bible says, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. And remember, joy is like it's like medicine that you take and it works good in your body. But when you are sorrowful, when you are sad, it will drain your strength, it will drain your energy, and it's not good for you. Please always make sure you are happy, happy in the Lord. The Bible says our faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so we bring to you again word from the Lord. And as you're about to listen to this word, please open up your heart because God is set to do something very, very remarkable in your life. Identify the cycle. Identify the pattern. I saw that my father rose and at a point he began to crash. I saw that my uncles were rising and I saw that they began to crash and now I am struggling to also rise. Or I saw that my father started a building, he could not finish it. And I saw here and there and I'm seeing it in my life and I'm going to tell the devil my case shall be an exception. I saw that my mother's marriage did not work with my father and now I'm trying to see the same thing trying to work out and replay in my life that pattern must be broken is God speaking to somebody here so you must identify the pattern identify the cycle number two you must determine to change the pattern determine to enforce a change of pattern or cycle you must be determined to enforce a change of cycle or pattern. I believe that that was what happened to Jacob when he made up his mind that this pattern cannot remain. This cycle cannot remain. This thing cannot remain. The Bible said Jacob was left alone. He sent everybody away from him. I need to battle this thing out. This cycle, I am determined. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Many years ago, a man brought his sister to me and he said, Pastor, my sister is HIV positive. In those days, this would be like 15, 16 years ago. I don't think there were things like antiretroviral drugs and all those kind of things. And he said, Pastor, I want you to pray in agreement with me. And the, and the husband of that sister died of AIDS. He said, I want you to pray with my sister. He said, I believe if you pray, she will be healed. Then he said something I will not forget. He said, even if they say there is no drug for HIV, because of my sister, it must be found. He said, he said, he said, she must leave. He wasn't the one who was talking on the behalf of another person. 15 years or more have come and gone. That sister has not died. Doesn't look like near death. Be determined. If anybody is going to break this thing in my family, I will be the one. Be determined. The Bible says from the days of John the Baptist up till now, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence take it by the violent take it by force. They take their deliverance by force. That was Matthew chapter 11 verse 12. They take their deliverance by force. They take their liberty by force. They violent take at it. Number three, possess the spirit of a fighter. The meaning of that is possess the spirit of a fighter. So you battle the matter at the place of prayer. You refuse to give up without a fight. And even with the fight, you refuse to give up. You fight to win. Fight to win. I told you the story of the, bull, the, the small bulldog before. I told you the story of the bulldog before. One little bulldog lived, lived in this compound and there was a big dog on the other, in the other compound. This bulldog will come from his house pass under the, the fence of their house, cross the highway to another house and meet a big normal dog 
and start fighting it. It was not as powerful as this big dog. But it engaged in a fight. And the big dog will fight it, fight it, fight it, throw it on the ground. And the little, the little bulldog will return back home, cross the road, cross under the fence, go back home. Tomorrow, <laughs> cross the road, return back, and engage the big dog. The big dog fought it, beat it. After the fight, he will go back home. Then tomorrow, he returns back again. The cycle continued for a long time. The big dog will beat it. He will return back home. The next day is coming until one day. When the big dog saw it's coming, he started running. You know the meaning of that? I can beat you, but I'm tired. I, I can. There are a generation of people that will tire out the devil. Is there anyone among them here? The witches and the wizards of your family will soon turn their back and be on the road. The ancestral powers, the generational curses, they will turn their back and be on the road. You are saying they may shout it like a believer. That is why they call it the tenacity of a bulldog. The tenacity. That's the character they had. They say God manufactured the bulldog with the nose slanted backward so that it can hold on to something and continue breathing. Without tiring. It can keep other, other, other ones who tire, but it's still breathing. That is the kind of tenacity and more that you need. Is God speaking to somebody here? The other day I saw a big hippopotamus moving and some hungry lions, about 15 of them, surrounded it. They want to tackle it and throw it down, but they couldn't. And the hippopotamus was going, they surrounded the some climbing on it. The father lion went on his back, caught his back, and started drinking his blood straight. The hippo is still alive. Wanted to hit it, hit it alive. He's running, they are pursuing. Then he targeted one of them, opened his big mouth, and put the head of that one in his mouth, and crushed his skull, literally. And dropped it. Whole lion laid on the ground groaning in pain. The others began to attend to it and the hippo. He went his way, found water, dived into it and the lions returned back. That lion, roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour, that one didn't recover. That is what to do. It doesn't matter how surrounded you are. Take on that enemy. Take on that enemy. Take on that enemy with the spirit of a fighter. My family has suffered enough. I have suffered enough. Devil, you are a bastard. This cycle is breakable and it is breaking. I am setting myself free and I am setting my family free. I am setting myself free. I am setting my family free. You make up your mind with the spirit of a fighter. Everybody be up on your feet, please. Have one more point. The spirit of a fighter. That was what Jacob used. And the Lord helps those who, who want to fight. Was that Isaiah chapter 25? Can you place it on the screen for me? Lift your hands one minute and say after me, say, Father, 
I give you the praise. Let me read from verse 3. It said, Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee. The city of the terrible nations shall fear thee. For thou hast been strength to the poor. A strength to the needy. A refuge from the storm. A shadow from the heat. When the blast of the terrible ones is as the storm against the wall. It started from the strong people. It started from the strong people. Therefore, the strong people shall glorify thee. And when you determine to be strong and not weak, then God becomes for you a refuge in the storm. Am I communicating? You communicate it. When you make up your mind to be strong and not be a weakling. Look at it again. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 3. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee. And then he said for thou hast been a strength to the poor. And then and at the end a strength to the needy in, in terms of this. A refuge from the stress from the storm, a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones is as the storm against the wall. Look at your neighbor, say refuse to be weak. Say it louder, say refuse to be weak. Louder say you must refuse to be weak. If you want to get God involved. And then you also look at Isaiah 28 and in verse 5. 28 verse 5, I read all the way to verse 6. He said, in that day shall the Lord of hosts be for a crown of glory and for a diadem of beauty unto the residue of his people. He will be a spirit of judgment to him that sitteth in judgment. And he will supply strength to the man who turns the battle to the gate. So when you are ready to fight, God is ready to supply strength. He will be strength for the fighter. He will never allow you to fight in your own strength. If you are ready to fight the enemy, strength. Therefore, you can't put, push my nose in the, in the ground. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. What you did against my family, number one, you cannot do against me. Number two, you must pay for it. <laughs> what you did against others in my family, number one, you can't do it against me. Number two, you must pay for it. And so, you must possess the spirit of the fighter. And number four, engage the power of his spirit. Engage the power of his spirit. You fight, you fight by engaging the power of his spirit. Engaging the power of his spirit to break the cycle. Whatever connects you with the power of God, engage it. In that day, the body shall be lifted from off your shoulder. That cycle, that satanic pattern, and the yoke from your neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because cause of the anointing. So the anointing of the Holy Spirit connects us with the power of his spirit. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus Christ of, the, of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. It was power that delivered Jacob. As a prince has thou power with God. And you have prevailed. You have prevailed over this matter. You connected power just now, and you have prevailed. The blood of Jesus also gives us power for victory. We'll, talk, we'll deal with that in the evening session. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. They overcame the devil. The patterns of evil. They overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. The power of the, of the, 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 the blood of Jesus gives us the power. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 11. As for thee, by the blood of thy covenant, you have brought the prisoners out of the pit where there is no water. As for thee also, by the blood of the covenant, have you brought the prisoners, verse 10, verse 2, prisoners out of the pit wherein there is no water. He said, now turn you to the stronghold. 
For everyone that is a prisoner, the blood is a stronghold to turn to. The word of God also supplies you power. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4 where the word of the king is there is power. So you engage the power from the anointing, from the blood, the word in fact the power of the fast Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 they that wait on the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall refuel their power. This morning is your day. Yeah. And your freedom is guaranteed. Yeah. If Jacob was free, you shall be free. Yeah. In fact, somebody is already free. Yeah. If the Bible said he sent forth his words, Psalm 107 verse 20, and heal them and deliver them from their destruction. The words flying over your heads now. This words already delivered you from this satanic pattern in your personal life and in your family lineage. Say a louder amen. amen. Let me announce to you it is possible to be free as if the devil does not exist. It's possible to walk free as if the devil is not alive. It's possible. That is personally. The majority of my personal of my prayer for twenty for so many years is for other people. You follow what I'm saying here today, and your freedom is is achieved right now. Yeah. And you must renovate your mentality. Yes, Some people have accepted. You see, there are people who are in so much problem that. The problem left the ground and entered their mind. That's why you see people, some people talking to themselves. If you remember the, the story of the circus, circus elephant in India, the elef elephant that uh, they, 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 they play with, I think they showed it to us one time. You know what they do? The circus elephant, they, they, in, 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 they, they, when they catch the elephant at first, that's right, you see the chain on his leg there. They chain the leg so that he can remain there for entertainment. And every time that elephant went, he thought he was free and he wanted to move. When he goes this way, the chain will remind him that you have a limit. Then he will return back and he tries to move the other side. The chain will remind him, don't you remember you are in a cycle? You can't move. When he wants to move this way, the chain will remind him. Come back. So his movement is equal to the length of the chain in every direction. Return back. That is how most people's lives are. After a while, long while, they will remove the chain. They will remove the chain. And the elephant cannot go anywhere. The chain is no more there. The chain has left the leg and went to the mind. And the mind told it, you have a limit. You are not permitted to cross a certain boundary. And it remains within. He is free, but not free. He is free, but not aware. So the greatest form of captivity is mentality captivity. That's the worst. That is why it is important. It doesn't matter how many people the devil tied down in your family or the number of people that died before their time in your family. Use the scripture to renovate your mind. Use it. Change your mind. Change your mind. It's possible. People have failed so many times until they accepted failure as a normal life. They tried to break through a certain barrier. They couldn't. And they said, okay, I, am, I have agreed that this is where I, I will remain. That devil is a bastard. That devil is a bastard. This morning, one of the things God will do for us 
is to break the chains in the mind. The limitations from our history. The chains from our past. Telling us that we cannot cross a certain level. To break that chain. So that we can receive freedom. Somebody received something this morning. You received something this morning. You received something this morning. Say it louder. Amen. How many of you believe that every cycle will be broken? Now, this is the first thing you have been waiting for all these years. After this moment forward, the devil will look for you and will realize that you escaped him forever. And you realize that you escaped him forever. Lift up your two hands everywhere you are and give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords the praise. Give him the praise and the honor this morning. Appreciate him. Honor him. Adore him for the world. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Shapaka lagayege digis. Leperite sike fiti kiziki yoloa. Appreciate him, honor him, adore him. Father, we love you. We praise you, we honor you. Appreciate him, honor him, adore him. In the name of Jesus, place your two hands on your head and say after me, say, Father, I receive. I receive. Total freedom, Total freedom and deliverance, and deliverance. In, my mind. in my mind. Every mental chain, every mental, every mental captivity, every mental, captivity. Every mental limitation, every mental limitation. Resisting, my resisting my destiny, every negative impression, every negative, impression. Every negative, conclusion. Every negative conclusion established in my mind by previous experiences. By my growing up experiences, the blood of Jesus is against you. In the name of Jesus, I receive the light to break this chain. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you negative chain, I command you, in the name of Jesus, break now. Open your mouth and pray, break, 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 break. break. Every negative chain, every negative pattern, break, 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 mental chain, chain in my mind, limitations of the mind, limitations of the mind. Today you break, today you break, today you break. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, Father I, de I, demand I demand that every evil cycle, every, every demonic cycle, every, demonic every, cycle, every, every, cycle, every, every, cycle, every 
every negative cycle in my family in my lineage be broken today by the power of your spirit oh lord father let every negative cycle every demonic cycle every evil cycle in my family in my lineage be broken by the power of the spirit of the anointing let them be broken now open your mouth and pray break 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 every evil cycle every demonic cycle every occultic cycle break break cycle every demonic cycle have that man there lavayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
So shall it be lifted up your trust and say, Father, Father I, ask power I ask for the power to prevail, to prevail over oh, oh. all the negative forces oh, negative against my life against my and, my and my destiny. Power, power to, prevail. to prevail like Jacob. Like Jacob. I, receive I receive that power, that power. now. Open your mouth and pray. Power to prevail over the negative forces. Over the negative forces. Power to prevail. I connect power. I connect power. I connect power. I connect the power to prevail. To prevail over limitations. To prevail over resistances. To prevail over hindrances. I shaga. Ile tekisi. Repuasaka. Shogol operatis. Let the sekelele. Rona kasaka. Rona kasaga. La kwa swalala. La kwa swalala. Repepele gedigish. Repepele gedigish. Repepele gedigish. Let the fete kisika. Let the fete ketikisika. La doko zagaladish. La doko zagaladish. Let the fete kisiki nikibiaya. Pash. La para. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. If there is any other thing you trust God to break for you, this is the time to pray. This time, no sitting down. It is a war time. Lift your hands and say, Father, Father every, other every other power fighting my destiny. Fighting my I ask that they die now. In the name of Jesus, you powers of confrontation, limitation and resistance against my destiny. I command you, in the name of Jesus, die now. Open your mouth and pray. Die now. Every other power. Every other power. Hoshka. Latas. Parus. Sikeme. Lekera. Paragash. Precious name. Lift your hands. Pick up the bottle of oil. Fire is burning. Let the power of the Lord come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. Let the power of the Lord Masha ya 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 ya
Jesus Christ, the resurrected Lord. Let the kisi ibriya kotozi eme paratas. La kusa katalagaya. Eli kepe rege de bos. Shama lagaya gadagala. Let the seed eke lebara. Sukala baragadia bos o kopolo. Ela na me sata la katikete. Eki sata lava. Eki sata lava. Eki sata lava. Shala babara gadagala. Shala babala gadagala. Shara baba la kada kala Shara baba la kala kaya kala Pash Loku se epereti ikizaka Loku sa bala kaya kediyas La baga da kaya kediyas La baga da kaya kediyas Lete se prete kizigelo Loro to seleme kediyka la kaya da Rata saka lede dere keke si kediyka da I speak to this oil I decree by the release of this anointing the same power that changed the life of Jacob comes upon you now by the reason of this anointing the fire of the Holy Ghost to break the negative patterns cycles of marital failure of premature death of rise and crash, of diabetes, hypertension, barrenness. Rejection, disfavor, spirit husband, spirit wife. Today, by the reason of this anointing, the cycle is broken, the pattern is broken. this oil the strength to fight and win the power to win the fight is released upon you so shall it be so shall it be as Jacob became Israel by a power encounter this morning, by this power encounter through this oil, your name is changing. A change of identity, a change of story, a change of situation. In Jesus' name, I prophesy the enlargement of capacity by this anointing. So shall it be. Take a little of the oil in your hand. And just hold it, your hand up. Close the bottle. And shut it. Something is about to happen. Take the hand up. And fire, fire, fire. Fire for the beam. Fire, fire, fire. I am following me, like in the day of Pentecost. I am following me, like on the day of Pentecost. I am following me, 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 Fire, 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 fire,
unable to marry because of negative patterns. Today is the end of the pattern. You are stepping into your marital destiny. Those who are unable to bring forth children because of negative patterns. Today is the end of that pattern. When I say in the name of Jesus, one, two, three, four, five, you scream, fire at the top of your voice. And let the hand land on your head to break the patterns. Father, let your, the fire of your spirit flow and break these patterns. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, one. A demonic tie condition, tie, right tie. The Lord is touching you. Rush to, to, to the front here quickly where I'm standing. A demonic tie condition on the right tie.
Lift your hands. In the name that is above every name, I decree not just that tie, but every challenge in your reproductive system. Power! Power! Are the Holy Ghost! Are the Holy Ghost! Are the Holy Ghost! A divine visitation. A divine visitation. Everybody, place your right hand on your chest and leave the other hand on. Please remain on your seat now. Leave the other hand on. And see after we say, in the name of Jesus, close your eyes. In the name of Jesus, every demonic presence in my body, you are returning back to hell. Every deposit of hell in my body, you are returning back to hell. On your mask, get set. Shut up! Go! Up your hands everywhere you are. As I prayed for her for the leg, I saw divine visitation in her reproductive system. And I just asked her now, What is your condition? Ma? Let us know. What's what's the problem? The only child, and in the night of it, my dream in three months ago. Somebody was pulling my leg in the dream. Group of women. Just took, take a look at the leg. And when I woke up, the leg started itching me. Until now, it's like that. But when daddy mentioned it, the right thigh is severe. But now I'm feeling it free. They pulled her leg in the night. And she woke up in the morning with that situation on the land for six years no child as i prayed on the leg the lord began to visit the womb lift up your hands there are over 60 women some here some all our locations around that are receiving the visitation of children this is the program that confirms from now, six, nine months from now, your children are in your hands. That's right. The power of God is coming on you women. Receive it. Left, right, center. One, two, three. Take. 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 Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Bring that to my steel. Place your right hand on your chest and lift your other hand. And I prophesy upon you now. Place your right hand on your chest and lift your other hand. Out. And see after me every arrow from hell. Fired in my life. Fired into my destiny. You are returning back to hell. You demonic arrow. On your marks. Get set. Shout go! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
there's somebody with an excruciating a lady here with an excruciating waist condition there is lift your hands there is a, 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 a demonic spirit around that waist a serpentine spirit get out get out get out get out get out lift your hands everywhere you are you remain there remain there lift your hands in the name of jesus every satanic deposit in your body in your body in, that's right it's going on leave that woman alone it's going on get out one two three go 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 let us let us turn when the lord turn again the captivity of zion we we are like them that dream a turn around is happening to somebody lift your hands lift your hands wherever you are now close your eyes like i said yesterday don't fake it because the power of god is real lift your hands but over 25 people the power will come on you now thank you for staying to the end of this video thank you we are very very appreciative of your presence in this community this is a community of believers we are here to enlighten ourselves through the word of god through practical life applicable teachings so if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to this channel if you have not liked this video please just take two seconds and just hit that like button and share this video with others to bless someone just as you have been blessed by this video it is only god that can do the impossible and where you are faced with impossibility in your life the only place to run to the only person to run to is god and that is why we encourage ourselves to keep studying the word of god to keep praying fasting to keep meditating on the word of god so that god will come through for us have a nice time god bless you see you in another of our video and there are so many videos that we have posted so far go through our channels go through our channel and check on our videos and see how impactful they are going to be in your life thank you god bless you keep shining for jesus keep shining for god peace